Okay, is she busy or what? No, it looks like she's trying to join. But uh, it keeps dropping. So, uh, I guess we have to wait. So here let's see the document for the change log table uh, in the standard DSO we have uh, the three data tables one is new data table active data table and change log table so now we are going to I mean uh, see the differences how it takes place when you load the data to the change log table what is this? Uh, I had the uh, screenshots in that. I don't know where that. Okay, no problem. I can't, uh, I mean, uh, I can't fill it now because uh, there are too many. Let's have a class. I will show you how the DSO behaves and then we can, I will uh, complete the document and I will send it to you. Uh, is she joining? Let's see her here. Yeah. So for that we have a, a one sales data uh, document. What I have done is to change all the. I mean, uh, I have changed all of them like uh, uh, um, key figures, not the characteristics. I left the characteristics unchanged and uh, changed the key figures values, and uh, we are going to load it, and uh, it will calculate the result for that and all that uh, will be I mean uh, after that we have a summation uh, on uh, I mean uh, key figures will show you where to do the summation and uh, uh, what is the overwrite and summation of the TSO and uh, we will uh, proceed with this scenario here we have already loaded the sales data and we have changed the uh, key figures just as that uh, we get in Delta because in delta we get uh, different key values and uh, all the characteristics are the same so in that case what what happens is the i mean uh, scenario here what happens when we load the data uh, and uh, when we do the summation uh, in uh, uh, how the dso is going to be here standard dso only because standard dso only will have the summation i mean uh, it will have the uh, three tables, uh, new data table and uh, 
uh, act to data table and change log table. So for that purpose, for deltas, you have to create standard DSO. We have a DSO here. We have here the data source and info package. Double click on the info package and load the data first to the PSA. So here we want uh, .csv file and we have all the settings here. So go to schedule and start loading. Uh, are you guys uh, practicing? Mm. Okay. <laughs> I haven't really been practicing uh, that much, but I intend to. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I intend to. Hey, this one is uh, <clears throat> this one is an error because this Excel sheet is open. Okay, so let's uh, close this Excel sheet CSV file. Let's start it again. So data was requested. You have to click on the monitor symbol. Here you will see that uh, here the data is loaded. And uh, these are the header status which have uh, which hold the information of the request. And uh, this is the details. Okay. So here this is the PSA symbol. Click on the PSA symbol to check the data. Here we have a profit for sales, which is zero, and it will be loaded in the uh, DSO because uh, we have a formula in the, I mean, in the transformation. So it will be loaded. The values will be loaded there, and uh, we have different values like uh, material quantity and all. So, yeah, I, I mean, remind you that uh, key figures are changed and uh, characteristics are the same, just like a delta. So, we have to go to the transformation, double click on the transformation. Change it. I will show you what what is uh, overwrite and uh, summation here in the transformation of the DSO. When you say the DSO is in summation, there is no option in the DSO to change it to summation. But in the transformation, what you will do is to double click on the rule. And in the aggregation, you have two options. One is overwrite and one is summation. Only for the key figures, you will have these options, overwrite and summations. Here you can see uh, by default, it will be on the overwrite. Key figures will be in the state of overwrite. You have to change it to the summation uh, based on your requirement. So then, then transfer the values. So just like that, for example, when you see the characteristics, you won't see any, uh, I mean, uh, aggregation a drop down here there won't be any aggregation box here mm -hmm. so here we have uh, profit for sales it is also set to summations and we have uh, material quantity it is an override we will change it to the summation transfer values so all the key figures are in summation now and now we can uh, Install, I mean, activate the transformation.
so when the transformation is activated go back to the DTP and you have to execute the DTP before executing the DTP I will show you what is uh, I mean uh, the status of the tables here you can see we only have one request and uh, we are going to load uh, another request uh, I mean uh, you can take it as a delta when it when it is a uh, real-time data from the ECC deltas are loaded that way so uh, when you go to the contents tab of the DSO you will find three database tables new data active data and change log tables so uh, when you click on the new data and uh, see the number of records it is zero because we haven't loaded any data and in new data the definition of the new data is uh, the data available in the new data when you load the data to the I mean DSO and before the activation once it is activated uh, data will uh, transfer from the new data to the active data and uh, there will be zero records we will see that now and in active data you can see there are 30 records which we have loaded before so you can see the values if you want to note you can note the one record C001 5000 for the bill amount and uh, profit of sales 3000 we can track these 